Titanium and pie cuts, two things that are on most people's wish list of learning how to fabricate wood. It's also the topic of today's TFS Fast Fab video, a full length quick fix or modification in less than five minutes. Let's get on it. All of the titanium used in today's episode of TFS Fast Fab has been provided by Tycon Industries. Make sure you head over to tyconindustries.com and check out their really awesome selection of titanium fabrication components. Now, if you're not used to working with titanium, they offer a really fantastic sample pack that'll help get you started and familiar with it. Tycon also ships worldwide, and every single part is expertly packaged and ready to use right out of the box. Now, let's see all of that in action on today's project. So first things first, let's get this OEM piece off of here. We're going to use it to measure. This is kind of the easiest way to do it. I'm going to take my protractor, line it up over the uh, OEM piece, kind of eyeball the center line radius. Got about 45 degrees per transition. So we'll get our Tycom pie cuts out, get them all set up here. Now each one of these has a seam on the inside of it, which we're going to use that as our actual orientation reference because it's very consistent throughout the Tycon lineup. Now each one of these pieces of uh, pie has a four and a half degree cut on each side, which means each transition solely is nine degrees. When you weld five of them together, you get 45 degrees. So we'll get both of these set up, two 45 degree transitions. Now I'm gonna set them up over the OEM piece so we can get an idea of the leg length. Now one's about 12 inches long, one's about six inches long, and we're gonna cut it off of this straight tube right here. Now, you can use a bandsaw, you can use abrasives, like a cutoff wheel on the end of a grinder, perhaps a uh, chop saw, but there are two things that you need to do if you're going to uh, use abrasives. One, you want a dedicated wheel for titanium, and two, make sure you take the plastic off. I like to leave it on there to, uh, you know, when I'm using the bandsaw to minimize the scratching on the piece. So we'll get it set up on the car. We're gonna get one on the intercooler inlet. We're also gonna set up one on the turbo outlet. And now you can see all we really have to do is fill in the blanks here. So I'm gonna take a measurement. Set it all up, get it cut down to length. Boom, we're ready to roll. Now this does have a seam on it, and I wanna make sure that that's out of sight. So we're gonna point it down and fill this in here. One mark down below, two marks up top for a great orientation reference. This uh, get, uh, removes any kind of confusion about where it's supposed to land. We'll get all of this tacked up as one full assembly here, and now we'll get a good fit check. Now make sure that your welds are good and strong because you have to kind of jostle these pieces around and weak welds can break. So I'm gonna check it out really thorough. Make sure we're clear. Now it's time to get welding. Now titanium absolutely loves gas coverage. So we're gonna switch away from the uh, FUPA 12 and go up to the BBW made by Furic. And of course this piece has to be purged. So I'm gonna take the foil, we're gonna stuff it into the end here. Now the entire piece doesn't need to be purged, just the sections that we're welding. So to minimize argon use, I'm gonna take this uh, pieces of foil here with the purge line, I'm gonna get them as far into there as possible. And final prep before welding, I'm gonna get it with some acetone. We'll get gloved up here, get ready to roll, and we'll start welding. Now titanium is a little bit tricky and it does take about a bit of practice to work with, but here's an idea of about what it looks like in real time. This is not sped up. I usually run about 10 dabs, which is roughly an inch or so. And then I stop, let it cool down, nice and clean, minimize the amount of color, and then we'll just move on down the line. And when it comes to welding pie cuts, it you know you just you want to try to make sure that you get uh, a lot of gas coverage, maintain a lot of consistency, and make sure that you get it nice and clean, and pretty much just weld until you get all the way around to the end. There's nothing, no real science to it. Now for final prep here, we're gonna hit it with a uh, surface prep pad. Notice that I have gloves on. We don't want to contaminate it because anything that we leave on the tube is gonna stay on the tube, especially during the burn process. So. Here's the burn color uh, setup. Uh, the hotter you get it, it's gonna go from gold to purple to dark blue to light blue, and then it gets into the other colors that you don't want. Now this piece took about 11 minutes to do, so when you're doing burn practice, practice on a piece of scrap first. So we'll get it set back up on the car, final reveal, get it all clamped down, and there you have it, one titanium upper intercooler pipe. Now, if you want to see more episodes in less than five minutes, go ahead and check out this hashtag, TFSFastFab. Every single time one of those uploads, you'll find it as long as you know how to search. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel for more really awesome content. And make sure you go to TycoonIndustries.com for all of your titanium fabrication needs. I'll see you guys on the next episode.